Let's have a look at how transport takes place in humans, the main medium being blood. We will have a look at blood, its composition and its functions and what its composition is all about. Firstly, we'll have a look at plasma, which is a liquid part. We'll have a look at RBCs or red blood cells or red blood corpuscles that carry oxygen. The white blood cells, WBC or white blood corpuscles that help protect against diseases and germs and blood platelets that help in the clotting and coagulation of blood. Blood is a red colored liquid. The reason it's red is because there is a red pigment present in all the blood cells called hemoglobin. This circulates within our body carrying out various functions and is composed of different elements, each having a specific function and purpose. Blood that carries oxygen to all the other parts of the body from the heart is called oxygenated blood and blood that carries back impurities to the heart is called deoxygenated blood. So let's have a look at the composition of blood. We have plasma, we have red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. Take a look at the diagram that illustrates a blood vessel carrying all the different components within the plasma. The white blood cells, the platelets and red blood cells are all immersed in the plasma of the blood. The plasma is the liquid part of the blood. It is colorless mainly because it consists of water around 90% and other substances such as digested food, common salt, proteins and waste products like carbon dioxide and urea along with hormones that are dissolved in it. It is responsible for carrying all these products to the different parts of the body. As I stated earlier, RBCs, WBCs and platelets are immersed in the plasma. The red blood corpuscles, they are red due to the presence of a pigment called hemoglobin and are circular in shape. They carry oxygen to all the parts of the body. They have no nucleus and are produced in the bone marrow. And there are millions and millions present within our human body. Three million die every day and four times that amount are produced every day. Each RBC can live up to four months. White blood cells fight against infections and diseases. They eat up germs like bacteria, while some other WBCs make antibodies to fight against infection. So we could say that white blood cells act as an immune system defending the body against diseases and infections. They are irregular or spherical in shape and have a nucleus. Their number in comparison to RBCs is less. Blood platelets are formed in the bone marrow they have no nuclei and they help in the coagulation or clotting of blood. What are the functions of blood? Basically there are three. One is the transportation of substances like all respiratory gases, digestive food, waste nutrients, hormones to all the parts of the body where the plasma which is the main component involved in this process. Secondly, they help in the protection against diseases acting as an immune system fighting off germs and bacteria. Whereas for the regulation of our body temperature by keeping it at a constant at 37 degrees centigrade. Above this temperature, the body loses control. I hope you've enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arrangeacademy.com. 
Furthermore, for a subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Academy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash Academy. Thank you.